to tell this story? What's the point? Well, you have to say yes or no first. I feel like I need a shower after this. I feel like gross. How'd you know? That's kind of scary though, that, that you knew that. Hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. Please subscribe. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers by June. And today we have something very special for you guys. We have traditional, I would call, call, consider this traditional Korean food, right? Royal. Royal, royal? feast. I mean, it's fit for a royal. Fit for a wangja? For a wangja. <laughs> wangdi? What's a wangdi? Uh, your wangdi drama. King drama? Queen. Drama queen. Oh, got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so quick shout out to our friends at Issei in Fullerton. They are starting a new uh, takeout um, delivery menu service of really good authentic Korean food. Yeah. yeah, so it comes with three entrees, which we have in front here, and two soups. And then they also hooked it up with some kimchi yeah. as well. So, so up front here we have uh, uh, this looks like tubu jorim. You have to, you're gonna have to go a little bit slower than that. Tubu, tubu, jorim, jorim. Dubu jorim. Dubu 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 What is that? Uh, braised tofu? Yes, braised tofu. I have a little answer sheet here, so yes, I can confirm that you're correct. Yeah. So you're one for five. All right, what's this one? That is posam. Posam. And you we just, love posam, yeah. and we've done posam quite a few times on our channel because it's one of our favorite Korean dish. Yes. Mm. So, posam. Posam is a boiled pork belly. Um, that looks, I haven't seen the menu yet, but that looks like jim tak. Chim tak. Chim tak. Uh, so according to this sheet, I had chim dak nal gay. Oh, would you call me? <laughs> uh, chim tak is braised chicken. Okay. But then what you said nal gay is wings, so that makes oh, sense because okay. it's chicken wings. Got it. Yeah. Yes, they're chicken wings. I also see like mushrooms, potatoes, and carrots on here, so yeah, it looks really good. Looks really. And we have uh, miok guk. Miok guk. Miok guk. Miok guk. Yeah, miok is seaweed and guk is soup. Mm, yes, that's yeah. correct. And then and this that one is... I really like. Yeah? Or I'm craving it. Oh, I'm craving really? it because I, I we have not had bean sprouts since we've been stay-at-home orders. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. No no bean sprouts. Yeah. But this is the bean sprout soup, which is called... Kongnamu kuk. Ooh, that one's hard. Konama kuk. Akumama tada. Why why do you keep singing songs after I say the Korean pronunciation? Right. We have some rice back here, so yeah. let's open up our rice. I mean, this is such... I enjoy this so much because we did a zero cooking. Everything came out like this and all we had to do is just heat it up. Yeah. Usually for like... Da, 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 da. Like it's... A lot of steps. A lot of steps, a lot of prepping, a lot of washing the produce, a lot of chopping, a lot of cooking. But all we had to do is open the lid. If you guys are local to Fullerton, we're gonna leave the description down below if you guys are interested in ordering this. This set was only 50 bucks. Only $50. So yeah. this is nice because I feel like meals. that ajuma that I keep calling came over and like made this whole feast for us. Yeah. Today, maybe chummy will come out. I but I I think maybe not looking at your face right now. <laughs> But, what? My face is always like this. But um, we do like the yogurt soju, so um, yeah. we're, gonna drink, we're gonna start off with that for sure. I mean, it always helps when you don't need a chaser with a drink, because then you can just shoot it and not have to like... Yeah. yeah. Oh, the first pour is such a... I, I love the sound. Mm. They should invent something so that every time you pour, it's that sound. If you like I, I don't so know much. how the science would work on that, huh? Mm, girl, mm. this smells extra ethanol-y. <laughs> ah. Mm. Okay. It's good. So you're, you've been uh, craving kong mm -hmm. I've been craving milk kuk actually. Okay, well then... Because this is... I mean, every cringe should love this soup. Uh, okay. Because... It reminds, it should remind you of your mom's love and care mm. um, that she makes for you for your birthday. Mm. So on your birthday, you're supposed to eat this soup. And then is, do you eat this for anything? Uh, maybe when you're hungover. Okay. <laughs> I, I love, I love how Korean soups all have, I feel like they all have a purpose. Mm, this is, oh, it's really, it's really mm. clean tasting. Mm. 
So this this seaweed soup has uh, the, um, beef in it, but I've seen other versions with mussels. It's usually just beef or mussels. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Get in on this. Mm. I didn't really grow up eating seaweed at all. So not even the dry kinds. Mm -mm. The salted dry kinds that. No. People on keto well, love. Because if you think like about it, Vietnamese cuisine, we don't really use seaweed in anything. Huh. Right? Yeah. I don't know which one I like more. There's a, um, that stock reminds me of the stock that you make sometimes where there's like the hint of like anchovy flavor, right? Or am I just making that up? No, anchovy stock is a, a common base. Is it a for... hallmark? Is it a cornerstone of Korean cuisine? Am it I allowed is. to say that? Give anchovy, me some more soju. help. It's so far. I got a rice kernel on my finger. How did that get there? <laughs> I'll leave it right here. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I mean, we have some Korean soju or some Korean food. Oh my gosh, okay. There's a lot of food here. But I'm gonna eat the... Uh... Tak. The naoge. Jin tak. <laughs> naoge. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. I like soy sauce flavored wings. Right? The soy sauce flavor? Yeah. Um, ganjang. Ganjang. Oh no. I feel your eyes on me. Let me. Uh, see? I figured it out. So judgy. I'm not. That's why you love Judge Judy. And Cause I'm Judge Millie. Because I'm not judgy. <laughs> yeah. And we've actually ha had this slaw that I've never had anywhere else. That This kimchi slaw is my favorite. It is. I mean, you say, please sell it by the tub and mm. we'll just buy it. Because I just like to eat it as, instead of like normal kimchi. Mm -hmm. Oh uh -huh. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're judging me. Are you Judge Judy? See, this is this is a clear example. If I did that, it'd be like not cute, but you do it, and it's cute because you laugh, and then okay. you get away Here's with murder, defense. basically. It's the farthest corner away from me, and I have this bottle of soju like in my arms, like you know, path. So I I was trying to be careful, so I made a little mistake. So please forgive me. That's so annoying. What? So I'm going to drop this <laughs> over there and do the same thing. But what a great idea to use chicken wings for this dish because usually you use whole chicken, like the big chicken. Oh. Mm. Mm. I mean, I really love the idea of just checking one day off of the week where we don't have to worry about what to eat or, or what to cook because everything is just scent and it's just at your door especially with korean food like there's so many steps involved cooking so usually when you know we cook korean food at home it's like one main yeah and then just a bunch of sides right and even with the sides like it takes a lot of work to make your own side dishes so we just buy the sides pre-made at the market and we just concentrate on cooking one main dish this boom 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 i, boom, I am boom. not gonna cook like I'm not gonna do that in all one meal. Mm -mm. So this does make it super convenient. Mm. I think that's why I fell in love with Korean cuisine is just because look at how much variety there is and this is considered one meal. Yeah. There's a story about my mom and I used to call her out for it too. Mm. So when I was growing up, um, you know, the younger I am, like I could tell, like that's when my mom had more energy and had more, I don't know, like joy to like cook food and you know play around with the presentation so it's like super cute uh -huh. and pretty. And throughout the years, as I get older, it's like less and less love in the presentation. I was like, oh my, you're like getting lazy. You told her that. Uh -huh. What what dish? Do you remember a specific dish where you felt like, okay, that's not what you normally... 
Well, I, the one example I really remember, I remember telling her is like, I, so as a kid, she used to make amu rice, the amu fried rice mm. with the egg on top of the rice, right? And she would be really artistic with the ketchup drawing on top. And she just doesn't do stuff like that anymore, like as I got older. After that, she's tried a little bit here and there. Like she cut cucumber slices and heart shapes for me. <laughs> that meal, I only was allowed to eat cucumber slices because she thought I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to tell this story? What story? What? Well, you have to say yes or no first. Well, yes. Maybe like a few years into our relationship, I didn't realize that Mark, um, I guess his brother teased him about being like a certain actor. And it kind of remind you just reminded me of how, yeah, pour some more. So if you guys ever watch Home Alone, uh, there's a, one of the robbers, the Joe Pesci character, who's the shorter, bald guy. They would call him Joe Pesci. I don't know. Okay, I need to ask him this. Like, I don't know why he called me Joe Pesci as a nickname when I was a kid. I don't, I don't understand that till this day. You don't think you look like him? No. <laughs> don't yell at me. Not at all. All right, but he's better looking than the tall robber, at least. Oh no, the tall robber's way better. Really? Yeah. The curly hair. Come rob my house anytime, but the other one locked the door. He's, he's cuter. Really? Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay. <laughs> In the comments, <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think is cuter? The other guy's name, I think, Daniel Stern. Is he still relevant? Because Joe Pesci is like, he just recently was in a movie that did really well. Well, that's true. I mean, if you're if you're going for like long-term, like who has more in their retirement account, fine, I would go with Joe Pesci. But if it's just for like looks, the taller one. The other really? one would be shorter than you. You're okay with that? Yeah, um, I don't really? judge by height, yeah. It's not, it's okay if you judge by height. No, you don't I don't. Mean, oh, okay, so no. you, mm, I didn't know, I didn't know you were into Joe Pesci. Wow. Well, no, the, I thought, uh, well, because in Home Alone, he was kind of like a whiner. So I felt like that's why you were, I, I made that up. But anytime you start acting like, you know, whine, <clears throat> you whine, or you say, oh, oh my, like, why, why are you so lazy and you're not making it that way? I think of Joe Pesci, so I call you that. And he gets so mad because I guess I was never supposed to even know that story. And then once I, once don't I know, caught wind of it. I don't know it, how I brought it up and Regret, and like, instant regret. It's, and it's not, jo no against to Joe Pesci, like, you know, he's a cool dude. But it's the way my brother is like, Joe Pesci, Joe Pesci. I was like, you know, I was like, stop that. I thought it was like the worst thing ever. And I was probably like only like six or something. No, I mean, that's cute, but sad at the same time. Um, but hey, Joe Pesci. On this topic, I, I, okay, I guess I'm just revealing a lot about myself. Like I'm a, I'm an open book, this mukbang video. How about that? The other nickname that both my mom, my brother, and every like all family friends like called me when I was a kid is Ching Ching Yi. Mm -hmm. And that's what you call people that just whine. I mean But we call that Egyo and Egyo is cute and I'm cute, so it all makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to drink more. Mm. So what about you? What were some of the nicknames you had by your family members growing up? Um, Cuckoo? Huh? Yeah. Who uh, called you that? My it, mom called me that, but I don't know what the context of I mean, it sounds obvious, but I don't know. Uh, baby, because I'm the baby of the family. So, like, even my siblings, even though they could say my name James, uh, it, they typically, like, my parents growing up, they had a harder time saying the S sound. So, it would be Jim. So, it's not even the J sound, it's just the, it's like CH. A M E, Jim, Jim, Jim. So the brother, I think one time he said that like my parents found me under the bridge. I got found in a dumpster. Mine was under a bridge, like and a troll, like a troll. And then the thing is, my mom went along with it. And then at that time, I I really believed it. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you're so like tricky and wily and stuff? Is because like trolls lived under bridges and I thought they always like trick people. Like they try to make them do like a, a riddle in order to cross. And if you don't, then they don't let you. No, they're just being smart and entrepreneur because they have to make a living too. And they're protecting the bridge. Wait, so you said earlier that you're supposed to eat that for your birthday? The, the, the seaweed soup? Yeah. yeah. 
And then what's the what's the point? Or this soup is considered one of the healthiest food ever. So you're gonna need your health when you like turn a year older. Yeah, is what it's is is for good for another good year of good health. Mm. And um, moms who just given birth, their first meal is always this soup to restore their health. And it's not a bad, usually when you think of, oh, I have to eat something healthy, and like, you think of something that's very herbal, and something that is like, ah, yucky, but this is good, like, I would eat it every day. Well, we've had friends that have told us about different um, food regimens that they're on when they are mm. pregnant, or is it right after they're pregnant? Post yeah, right after. Right after, and like, I don't know if either, either of them, the friends that I'm thinking of, raved about the food. Yeah. It's supposed to be very, like, bland, bland and... I would eat this if I, right after I gave birth, just all of this <laughs> with some soju. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that we're drinking soju because typically when we go to Issei, I, there's rarely ever occasion we go there and we don't drink anything. It's almost like 95% of the time you go there. Yeah. Because Issei is like the show cheers to those people when they go to the bar and everyone knows their name and they're friendly. Just like that to us. But there's been things I've done there where they've not done that on the episode of Cheers. Uh, we only get to see 30 minutes of their life per episode. I'm sure the other parts is not on air. It's like That's the part they should have aired. I never watched Cheers, did you? Here and there. Like, what? they just went to the bar, but they all had storylines, is, is what I understand. There's always this post um, mailman, I remember. Was there a police officer? How come this is starting to sound like the village people? <laughs> Like, I, I remember the mailman kind of looking like maybe the butler from Mr. Belvedere a little bit. Oh, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. A little bit? I don't know. Oh, you're aging yourself. If you're referencing Mr. Belvedere. Designer woman. You know what they should have done? Mr. Huh. Belvedere and Alice from the Brady Bunch should have had a crossover. And then they hook up. Oh. <laughs> but... But I Alice, guess, here's a trivia question. Guess, Alice, yeah. her husband, what was his occupation? Oh my god, wait, come out. I was thinking about um, Small Wonder. What's her name? She's too young to be with Mr. <laughs> Belvedere. Uh, even though she's a robot. That's what, and, uh, Alice's husband. And the show? Yeah, what was his occupation? She was married? I think she got married later on. Oh no, I think maybe towards the end. But she, I mean, she was fine. She was dating someone. and Fine, It was he was an architect. No, that's Mr. Brady. And you don't know what happened behind the scenes. You love like, behind the scenes. If any family needs a full-time in-house nanny, there's a reason why. <laughs> don't ruin the show for me. So she was needing more than the meatloaf, huh? <laughs> she was beating the meat. <laughs> oh. Don't ruin it for me. I mean, what nanny would want to work in a house with six kids? Like, she, there has to be something else in it for her. Ooh, they barely made they barely made the under ten people regulation. There were nine people in that household. <gasps> and then when the guest star comes over, uh, uh, that's not allowed. I I don't think I could live in a Jack and Jill. Is that what they're called? The, so the three kids that were in one bedroom and the other three, and then there was one bathroom in the middle. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. think I can do that. Would you rather have that situation or Tandem Garage? Like six growing kids, half of them going to puberty, but you're all sharing one bathroom? <laughs> okay, I get it, fine. Maybe maybe the Tandem Garage. You'd rather have the Tandem Garage? It just seems annoying to have one. I know, but well, I just park on the street when the driveway or something. Well, now there's plenty of parking. Mm -hmm. So here's a confession. Um, what's the dad's name? I forgot. Mr. Brady. Yeah, let's just call him Mr. Brady. I thought he's he's a I I always thought he looked handsome, but not in the earlier seasons because he had kind of like a curly hair. Oh, you didn't hair. like when he had that like fro? Thing? No, it like he couldn't pull off the fro. The, the what, what's the artist's name? I've got it. Uh, Bob Ross. Yes, he could pull it off, but not Mr. Brady. But as I don't like older. how you're calling him Mr. Brady. It's like you have like some daddy fetish or something right now. I'm Alice. Ew! <laughs> I feel like I need a shower after this.
I feel like gross. What? You're the one who brought up Alice. Yeah, I only I. This you're gonna see that you're the one that always pivoted it to a like gross, like nasty turn. Not me. Usually it's me, but today it's all you. But you do it cute, so you're not gonna get blamed for it. I always get blamed for everything. And you're just coming up with creative ways to say, um, to be honest. So now you're saying, I have a confession, which is your new way of to just say, to be honest. <laughs> Stop looking at me with like darts in your eyes. I feel like I can't even talk anymore. Why? I don't know. I remember no one here judges. Except for you. You judge. You oh. just here's it. Okay, here here I spill the tea. All of it's coming out right now. I am known to judge, but he judges after after the situation. Like every, people are done or gone, then he'd be like, "Oh my god," blah blah blah. That's you. Me, I'm more like, "Are you sure about?" Like I'm more in your face judge. You're more like behind the scenes judge. True or false? False. <laughs> But I can't get in but, a... But you are going to hear from me after this video ends. <laughs> <laughs> I go... So, like, is this... Am I being dramatic? But I feel like this is so authentically good Korean food that I should be wearing, like, a hanbok right now. You never worn one before. No, they're expensive. <laughs> Did we tell you guys this story? Like when we got married, um, we both rented like traditional garments from our perspective cultures. And Mark rented a hanbok, which was like, I don't even, it was triple digit for the rental. Mine was 40 bucks. So I felt like I wasn't like good enough. I had that self-conscious like, why is my garment only 40 bucks while yours is like 140 bucks? What's the difference? Does yours come with like, Pockets that have side dishes in it. Like, I don't understand. Mine was gold for, for freaking sake. And it was like still not even that much. Mine had actual growth, gold threading. <sighs> I don't really have good pictures of us in that outfit though. Mm -mm. You were pretty gone by that point. I think you thought we were in Korea. <laughs> I barely remember that part of the evening. I do remember you like giving me basically a lap dance, but that was kind of challenging because the garment was not as flowy as one would have hoped. I didn't do it on my own will though. I don't know, your hips kind of moved independently from the rest of your body. No, your high school friends made me do it. No one makes you do anything. You always, you always choose to do it. You don't do it on command. That's not your nature. If I told you to do something, you won't do it. You can't do it on the spot. That's not your jam. I feel like you should introduce the chummy the same way you do in every video. The, like, where you go, find the hidden image. Oh no! <laughs> I thought you know you usually go like bloop, bloop, bloop. Chummy time. Chummy time. Not sponsored by them. Do they not notice us yet? <laughs> oh. James said, I'm Fine, not "I'll do chummy, but you have to grab me a soda." I was like, "Sure." You might want to. You could probably add that sound bite. What part? Oh, Korean grab me the soda. soda. We need to work on your impression of me. Okay, cheers. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I. It's not sincere when you say it like that. I love when I'm with you and drinking with you. You, you only love me when you're like you drinking are a little bit. To, for, for us to kind of get through this you know, safe at home order and like, I don't know. I, I just love how we're spending quality time together. I haven't driven you nuts yet. No. Hmm. Okay, well, cheers. I love you too. Oh. Be generous. What? Just be generous? Genuine. Oh, I am genuine. I'm trying to, I'm the taste of your own medicine. Oh, I see. But you, you always, wait, don't drink that. You always say you're not about revenge and then here you go. Taste of your own medicine, which is another way of revenge. You think you're like so sly. <laughs> I'm pretty. S
I hope you weren't gonna say you're pretty sly for an Asian guy. I was gonna say. Oh that. my god! I knew you were gonna say. It How'd like, you know? And but I stopped myself because I'm like, okay, I don't want to go there. How'd you know? That's kind of scary though. That that you knew that. Well, you you always brag that I know what you're thinking or about to say. I know. And then it's actually it's kind of scary, but I do I it think, so much that I don't even realize. I think it. it's because we've been together for so long. You just know like what I'm gonna say next, and sometimes they're very random, but you still know. Yeah, I think food has really helped me not feel like there's something bigger than us happening in the world. Because are yeah. you? Do you feel that way too? Mm-hmm. I'm really blessed and lucky that, you know, we still get to enjoy our quality quality time together. We're still working. We're, we're still in good health. Yeah. Um, and it's such, such a small... I know we complain here and there like, oh, we want to go out or we want to do stuff. But this is such a small sacrifice for us to, um, like, give up and do. For the greater good of our community, right? We have a lot of positive things that's going on right now. I don't regret it at all. My coworker told me um, the ozone layer, layer. Uh-huh. is Closed like up the, again. Is the best that it's ever been. The ozone layer got its groove back because we decided to shut down for a little bit. So you're more into science than me. What is the like? Oh no! You can ask me question. Like. Why is that important? That the ozone layer got its groove back? Well, <laughs> from my understanding, the ozone layer protects um, certain types of UV radiation from coming through. Um, so it protects that from happening. I sound like that one lady that doesn't know what, what she's saying. But the problem is, is if if we don't have an ozone layer, the intensity in which those rays hit the earth could be very detrimental to our environment because so? it could melt the polar ice caps, causing uh, mass destruction. Like, if, if those all melted, then I don't know, isn't, doesn't the water like... Wait, so if it, inc if it uh, doesn't filter out the UV, the harmful UV rays um, um, out, whatever, <laughs> Like, do people get more skin cancer? I believe so. Here, here's a question. Don't think of it nasty. But tell me an example where a bigger hole is better than a small hole. Um, when you open up your mouth when you drink. <laughs> All right, touche. Okay, <laughs> give me some drinks. Now, when you take a shot of soju, you don't want to close up your mouth hole. Like, uh -uh. that means you're going to slowly well, drip, drip, drip. I would I because think that's your advice is you, we've had friends that will take sips of shots, which I think is more miserable to do it that way. Like just open your throat, girl, and let and shoot it back and like just, I mean. No, but with soju, I actually like tasting it. Really? Mm -hmm. That's why I like to sip it, like kind of like sake or wine. So here's the thing. I, we, we have friends that are like, oh, like they'll watch you and they really want to try chummy. But then they'll watch me and they're like, I don't know if I want to try chummy. So I feel like we're doing a really good uh, non-biased like assessment of it. So like Mark's a big fan. I'm just like drinking it. And now I'm starting I mean, to move a little bit more. I could see how my affection towards chummy could confuse people because this is such a pretty color that they might think it's like, um, oh, it looks like a sweet blue flavor, like soju, you know, like something like good. Yeah, it's not sweet it's, or blue. It's super smooth. It is naturally sweet. I, I taste the natural sweetness of the soju in here. It just kind of, uh, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, I, I feel like it's one of those things where when someone says like, oh, this wine has notes of like almond and cherry, it's like, I, I pretend to myself that I can actually taste the almond and cherry, but no, it just mm. tastes like wine. Maybe my palate's not sophisticated enough, but this just tastes like something I should like put on a wound. Actually, that's a good point. Soju is something that you put on a wound. What? <laughs> like, you know, it, it helps heal a lot of broken hearts. Uh, uh, I've seen people it, drink this and it, it seems like it makes it worse. It helps people 
forget about the troubled past. No, I I, I bring up the troubled past when I drink a lot of it. <laughs> keep going. This is where I would give you like a C plus on your essay. I don't. I'm not convinced. You're not really. Okay. Rewind for a second. I'm only trying to prove your point that this. You said this tastes like it should heal like open wounds or whatever. I'm trying to say, yeah, you're right. I was thinking broken I, heart. I was thinking of physical Trouble like pass. wounds. You're getting very metaphorical. Tomato, so, tomato. so I'm writing more of an essay that's in a science class. You're writing it more for like humanities or English. Well, Mark's a really good writer. <laughs> <laughs> that was not random. Not random. We just talked about it this past week. He used to write grants for his previous job, and I was kind of. I just didn't ever see him in that <coughs> role because I don't know. Like I've read your like Zynga posts, and they just weren't like crafted. Well, my such. Zynga post was really good, especially when I was very poetic and wrote poems. I, I, wrote- I swear, you had a post where it was literally someone that like pantsed you, and then you put an emoji on your butt crack. I saw scissors on the vanity. Are you like trimming something? Mm-hmm. I I tried trimming the top part of my hair. Looks fine. Thank you. I did a good job then. <laughs> did, did you do it today? No, I did it like a couple days ago. Okay. We're getting. We're. I mean, I'm starting to get very like. We're not gonna film videos if we start looking like. I mean, at this point, I might end up getting a man bun. <laughs> As soon as I said that, your face twitched. I don't like, I, I personally don't like man bun. Your, your, I saw your face like. <laughs> okay, who has a good man bun? And then we'll work backwards from there. Tell me one person that has a good man bun. Here's the other thing. You don't want a man bun now because it's not even cool. And it passed the like. No one's doing it anymore, so it's like not it, it's cool face either. But maybe so like, enough time has passed where I bring it back to trend. No, I okay, I'm not supporting like oh that was a good look or not. I just want it because there are days I don't want to do my hair nor wear a hat. So how convenient it is just to tie it up in a bun. I won't look cute, I know that, but it's still better than having bad hair. I know this sounds bad, but if you have a bun, you might as well wear your hanbok outfit and hold a parchment thing and like do the like scripture, script writing thing. I don't want you to have a man bun. Oh, are you telling me what your fantasy is? No, (laughs) unless I'm the parchment and then the pen is blank, then maybe. Mm, That's too grown up. They have the yogurt soju in the freezer still. No, I'm good after this because you guys watched our last live video. Here's yeah. more tea. Like what? So we we I started playing video games right after, and then Mark was kind of dilly dallying and like I think texting people, and then I all of a sudden I heard no more like sound. So like I'm like I tiptoed to the bedroom, and then inside the bedroom, just you're sprawled on the bed and you completely passed out i was bored no one was there to drink with me you're playing video games i'm like there's nothing else to do don't blame boredom on why you passed out most people pass out because they're bored who me you pass out because you're bored because then you're uh, you're bored a lot (laughs) girl like Oh, you pass out way more than I do. So maybe I'm bored and we need to fix something about it. Word of the day, though. Okay. The word of the day is diversify. (laughs) Okay, use the word diversify in the comments down below so that we know that you guys saw up to this part. Also, let us know who you think is more attractive, Joe Pesci or Daniel Stern. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Wait, hold on. Mm. Who do you think was better looking in the movie Home Alone? Because I don't know how Joe Pesci or Danny Stearns, whatever, looks yeah. like right now. Oh, so like, so when I do the, the, the thing, I will use the photos from Home Alone. Up here. Up here. Up. 
Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be bad times. Yep. All right. Oh! Whoa! Okay, we'll see you guys next time.